August 15th, three o'clock. And so we wanted to start, I wanted to start today this uh, YouTube uh, request that I've been actually trying to put together and what better way than start today on a Thursday, second half of the year. Uh, and so since I've, we already grasped a lot of attention here in Tamarindo, Guanacaste. I've been trying to build this uh, network of friendships, partnerships, businessships, entrepreneurships um, that want to get together here, collaborate in Chispa Chispa Tamarindo, right? So um, we want to introduce ourselves to the public, let them know who we are, what we're doing here, what's our goal, what's life like here in paradise. We call it paradise because there's everything here, you know, from like full sun to rain at the same time. And plenty of plenty of food, plenty, plenty of everything is, is here. Um, and you live pretty much pretty well off, you know, it's just, the elephant in the room is that there is a um, there is um, uh, it, it is very expensive to live here. It is known as one of the top, maybe top ten around the world. Uh, Guanacaste, being a touristic, very very touristic, um, dollar driven, in the past 25, 30 years, a lot of people have moved here from the States, Canada, Europe, Asia, uh, South America, even parts of, uh, you know, here in Mexico too, people from Mexico have moved here from all over. So um, this is a very, very, very high-end commodity. And it's becoming this way just because everywhere else you go, it's, it's, it's becoming more of a, a structure of real estate that, you know, investments are, you know, are pretty big. They're trying to infiltrate here and uh, you know, a lot of the regulations are pretty easy and people can buy real estate and act as a... Uh, permanent residency or just even get yourself involved with the business here or start a business and right away you will get residency so it's pretty laid back when it comes to political or politics uh, everything is pretty bendable in events um, anyways that's it um, I use Lapa Lapa here restaurant as a satellite I actually Chispa Chispa Tamarindo brings a lot of the market here through social media. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about who I am. Um, I was born here in Costa Rica, in this region. Uh, been in San Francisco, California for over 35 years. Uh, raised in SF, California, in the middle of SF, Ingleside District, uh, Sutro Tower. Uh, Castro, uh, Divisadero, all that region, all that area. I was there for over 35 years. And I always wanted to come back home. Finally, um, um, all the all the legality, all the life cards kind of like assemble. And then uh, I was able to make that decision, you know. So now I've been living in in my back of my real estate land for over now since 2017 and um, I lived in Heredia, I lived in San Jose, I lived in Alajuela, I was able to analyze the situation, the economy sector, how it works, who's who um, and that gave me a lot of knowledge to understand um, how to live the life that I wanted to uh, but in order to do that, I couldn't live in the Central Valley. I would have to live uh, in the touristic sector where I can help out the most 
with uh, the things that I learned in San Francisco, California, right? My background. <clears throat> so now, um, I do have to tell you that right before we got to um, Tamarindo, um, I went to go see what it was like to collect coffee during the pandemic because there wasn't anything here in the pandemic. Um, so we went, we went up high to the mountains of San Jose, Costa Rica, in the capital. La Zona de los Santos. That's where most of the main coffee gets picked. And it's huge crevices. You go up there for hours, up in a mountain drive, and then you gotta drive down maybe an hour, hour and a half down the crevices and it's a uh, it's an experience because there's no roads, it's all gravel and it takes a beat of cars to get there, you know, a good hour, hour and 30 minutes and these are fincas, these are, uh, you know, farms that are just made for coffee pickers and some, a lot of the coffee pickers, they've been there for, since kids, they've been picking coffee and they're really, really good at it. So they stay there, they don't pay any rent. They just work for uh, the coffee field from, let's say, August to December. Actually, it goes all the way to May, maybe, sometimes. Um, so hey, anyways, yeah, we decided to do that. And um, that's where I actually met Chispa. I met Chispa up in the mountains, collecting co coffee from a family that was struggling. And um, uh, we were able to uh, get along with the family. We were able to get along and understand what was going on. How, do, how, how was the coffee picking? Chispa will always get up at 3.30 in the morning and help the family go collect coffee from 3.30 in the morning to like uh, 12 in the afternoon, you know. And there wasn't much money to be made. Now, this is again through COVID at the end, sometime around September, October, November, December, all the way through like January, because we arrived in Tamarindo February 14th of 2021. Um, anyways, we did meet Chispa back then, La Zona de los Santos. Um, and um, we were there until February, early February. Uh, Chispa was only like a month, maybe a month and a half old. And um, yeah, we decided to give the family some money. There were some hardships and, uh, you know, um, we snuck chispa inside the uh, buses because in the public bus you cannot carry any dogs, unfortunately. It's, the system's not prepared for that. Um, and so from there on, we ended up coming to uh, Alajuela for maybe a day or two days and then uh, we slept at a friend's house and we were, we were able to bounce back and come back to, and come back to Guanacaste after over 35 years um, and most of my descendancy from my mother's side is here mm, although I don't really didn't know anybody um, we um, we arrived here on a on a uh, on a February 14th, sometime around 8.35, around there, and it was packed. The circle, the rotunda, the Manito Rotunda was full of people, lots of people from all over the world, and uh, uh, it felt different, you know? <laughs> it felt like there was a lot of life there, you know, people were having fun. Um, and we just grabbed the tent, and we just camped on the sand for like a week. <laughs> more than that but it, a week in one spot and then we moved to another spot trying to figure things out now remember when i was here at the age of five six years old this was a jungle so there wasn't much buildings any structures here um, so yeah i've been picking up the pieces to see how my life what is my life role here you know and uh, now it's been a full three years and it's been amazing. Been some struggles like everywhere else, but uh, every day for me is paradise. Um, we manage now a lot of the marketing here in Tamarindo with a lot of uh, businesses that Chispa Chispa Tamarindo, Chispa Chispa Tamarindo um, uh, picks. 
eventually I would have to talk to the owner and see what his goal is, see his business and strategize it and and go from there, right? And and then um, we belong to a lot of groups uh, on Facebook. We belong uh, a lot of businesses are following us. Uh, Instagram, we have a good amount of people growing fast. Um, and so now, uh, me and Chispa have been taking a role of uh, advertising, marketing, uh, um, you know, promoting, uh, influencer, you know, I do help a lot of businesses grow. Uh, ever since we got here, businesses here were dead in social media, they didn't know what they were doing. I came in and I structured to the point that now businesses are now doing their own reels, they're working their own social media. You know, I give them a little bit of education to understand how to, you know, chew. You know, I come from San Francisco, California, which is the future, was the future. Tech, real estate, you know, and here it's like they're behind on a lot of things, you know. So, uh, Chispa Chispa Tamarindo gave them a name, gave a lot of the businesses, Surf Shack, La Palapa Restaurant, La Palapa Hotel, uh, the vendors, the farmer's market, the night market. Uh, a lot of businesses are have gone through Chispa Chispa Tamarindo. Uh, we walk around town and we have a lot of families that find us through YouTube. Uh, the finest through social media they've been following us for a few years now uh, so we're very happy about that because we get people that are handicapped and they can't walk any longer and they've been living here for a long time and now they can't even visit the beach or la playa and so they see it through us you know and they learn a lot and I try to keep this channel as a edutainment you know education entertainment you know so I may throw a lot of funny stuff in social media and sarcastic stuff, or knowledgeable stuff, uh, education stuff, and you know, and a lot of people learn, want to learn English here. So uh, I'm also a, a, uh, a an influencer to talk to people in English so they can learn faster, you know. And um, you know, I have a lot of people behind me, young people that are they see me as their father role, a father role, you know, uh, young young kids, adults, they see me as their father role here, so. I feel that we're doing a really good um, exposure. Guanacaste, it's needed. Um, a really good role in life. Um, you know, um, we do have a lot of other friends that want to join in these kind of conversations and bring a little bit of the experience so that way the viewer yourself can understand what it's like to come visit here for maybe a short vacation, a long, long-term vacation, or maybe even live here because you got sick and tired of what's going on in the in your government, right? A lot of people come here because of those reasons and because it's easier to invest. And definitely, I do got to tell you that there is a lot of videos in YouTube that all have to do with, uh, most of them have to do with um, real estate, you know. And I suggest. Don't listen to these people, especially if they're realtors, uh, work, working for Cobalt Banker, uh, Century 21. Uh, these people don't understand the economy. They don't know what's coming next in the next six to one year. Um, they just happen to have a Pura Vida life and for them success is giving you the same thing in exchange of a rate of high price, which is the inflation that they don't understand what's going on. So. And with that inflation, they buy more and they actually do the opposite. They inflate the rental market, so it's harder for people to live here. You know, a lot of Canadians, Americans, there's not a lot of Costarricenses here. Um, but a lot of other people are getting pushed out of Tamarindo because the rental is not a friendly market. But there's a lot to talk about when it comes to real estate because it's not the best place to invest here. Um, it is the best to live and balance your life accordingly to what you're looking for, right? And I know a lot of good people here that are family members with kids. They walk around the beach daily. They go do uh, positive things, you know? And then I know other people and families that are just chaotic and, and their kids are drug addicts and then they have to go back to Canada. They have to go back to the States. They have to come back here, you know? Uh, but it, it, eventually, eventually Costa Rica kind of humbles them down and, you know, this is kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a mental hospital for a lot of the foreigners here, you know what I mean? 
Um, so yeah, I mean, um, there's there's a lot of construction, a lot of development. Um, there's a lot of things that we have to cover. You know, this is my first first video in YouTube now, trying to let you know who I am, who Chispa Chispa Tamalindo is, right? Um, and there's gonna be more of these videos um, with a lot of other friends, also businesses that I uh, link with, that I, they're linked with me as well, right? That I help out. Uh, and so that maybe in the future, when you are planning a vacation, you are following us, you want, you want to visit and meet Chispa, and you want to see this beautiful region, you know? Uh, you can come over and visit us. Again, we have a lot of people that have visited us through YouTube, through social media. And so I figured that I needed to step up my game a, little, a notch and, and have a longer uh, session on YouTube and, and grab more people's attention so that way maybe they can invest later on uh, with their family, bring their family. There's a farmer's market here, Saturday farmer's market. There's a Thursday night market as well. That's from 6 till 10. You can follow me, my stories on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. Uh, the ambience is amazing, it's great. Uh, a lot of kids, family, a lot of dogs, a lot of pets, uh, a lot of food, uh, music, beautiful, beautiful people. I mean, I got, let's be honest, Tamarindo is 10 out of one, it's women, a lot of women. Uh, and so, there, there's also a lot of respect here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, um, yeah, it's a beautiful spot. People from all over the world, Holland, there's a school called EF. Uh, and basically EF is all over the world, it's a chain education where these kids are paid to come and experience other people's culture, other countries' culture. Costa Rica, Guanacaste now is a theme, a subject in the world touristic area. And it's going to become even bigger, you know, as the uh, years progress and Chispa's here, you know. Um, and we're trying to do this actually for the best of everybody, right? Uh, again, this is my desk. This is uh, my uh, uh, my everyday uh, lifestyle, my everyday um, office, you know. Uh, and I have a, other couple businesses that I can go and talk and have a nice conversation here. But again, this is my introduction, my point of 18 minutes of uh, chit chatting, you know. Uh, but I just I just happen to do my little exercise and run my four or five miles and I figure I'm straight in my head I need to let go and yap yap and start my tamarindo guanacaste tamarindo um, uh, series which is a series and we'll have a series every series we'll call it uh, I don't know series one maybe 30 minutes 45 minutes with an in um, an invitation from someone could be local tours could be La Palapa Hotel uh, it could be one of your businesses in Tamarindo you want to brand through Chispa Chispa Tamarindo so people can get to know your business better right that's what you need to do you need to get Chispa with it that's what I tell people Chispa is a spark that's how the, the doggy came from that with that name a spark but here is intuition intelligence think quick thinker very you know fast decisions so I figured that's a perfect name for the dog. I'm not gonna touch it. And from there on, I've been branding the name Chispa. Um, and it just fits perfect. Um, so we're all, yes, we're gonna be starting today our Tamarindo series. Hopefully we'll have um, people that wanna talk about life here. What's like Tamarindo? How's Tamarindo been treating you? If you're a visitor, if you're a foreigner, uh, come and see me, La Palapa restaurant. Follow us, Chispa Chispa Tamarindo. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Now you know. YouTube as well, right? Uh, and also link with Costa Rica Travel by Baker Filling Adventure. They are my YouTube group and they have a lot of concentrated videos that we've done here in Guanacaste with Chispa Chispa Tamarindo and a lot of the businesses uh, they're under our name uh, who we promote and market uh, solemnly. The time now is 3.15 and the reason I picked this setting is because I have a really good tight relationship with this business La Palapa Hotel, the La Palapa restaurant. This is the perfect scenery 
uh, just because you have a lot of things going on here. You know, you have uh, people that are actually looking for surf uh, classes. They're gonna go with their family surf thing. They want to try uh, buy the best food around. This La Palapa Hotel. Me being here now working uh, uh, and helping them out. I know the staff. I know uh, the owners. I know the history behind. Um, I know where the stuff is coming from, and I know where how they manage the product when they when it comes in. So I've seen it. It's it it works for me. You know, this is a very um, prime location. It's right in front of like Rotonda, um, and it brings also a lot of attention. It needs a lot of attention. It needs more TLC. Uh, there's been some businesses here that have been changing ownership. Uh, there's been some problematic situation in the market and everybody's feeling it so things are bound to change uh, but still this region remains prime location right uh, this is the heart of the economic system uh, in the tourist sector this is probably it is the town that probably holds more weight and brings more tourists than most of the regions in Costa Rica uh, and it's been doing doing it uh, at a very strong rapid pace and then it will keep increasing there'll be some flaws coming but it'll still maintain pretty steady for those that want to vacation with their families and friends repeated vis visitors repeated foreigners uh, and so they're gonna be actually now doing more reviews uh, they're going to be doing more and more studies in uh, in Google or social media and to find out uh, what kind of business is, uh, where they're going, who they should link with, if there's a strong influence in that region. And, you know, Chispa Chispa Tamarindo, is, it is, we are the strongest and we're going to be the strongest influencer here in this region uh, for the future to come. And so we expect... The roof to move out the way here for the future, and uh, uh, we're gonna be doing really, really well if you uh, are with us uh, and we're with you. Uh, we will make you grow um, again. Um, still early, uh, I want to give you a little bit more of a background of nature, what it's like to f you're in the jungle, you know, uh, you have nothing but palms and trees. Uh, I want to give you a little tour. I also don't want to lose too much attention and focus on what we have to talk about. Now there is a uh, there is a uh, boat that has been in shores for about maybe three months, going on four months, and unfortunately there's no money to get it out. Um, it's not from here. It's a boat from a, a person that's been living here for 20 years, and they had some issues in life, and now unfortunately they can't take care of it. So it's been stuck there. Hopefully the government takes care of it. You know. Uh, sooner than you know there's there was fuel in there people have been complaining and if you're gonna buy real estate here you know why don't we get rid of that you know there's a lot of little issues like that that we need to talk about in Tamarindo and part of it that's why we have now a Tamarindo Chispa Chispa series starting 350 right now I was a bit hesitant just because um, you know I'm working out of an iPhone um, I was actually expecting my iPhone 15 sooner. Uh, I have a stand where I can rotate and actually right now I'm just holding this with my hand, making it more personal. But eventually here in the future, I will get my iPhone. I'll just set up my uh, my stand and you'll have a better you know, view of things without the shaking, you know, all that stuff. But um, that's one thing that I want to get off the list to talk about. Um, yeah, and just want to show you more um, about what is life, the life here, what kind of people come into Lapa Lapa, what kind of people come here, visit, you know, uh, 
and eventually where we have a lot of other subjects to chit chat about um, you know there's a uh, 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 people want to come here and know who to group themselves for surfing, you know, and and go surfing. There's a lot of surfing uh, individuals, people that are doing their own stuff, you know, and they survive out of that, right? So um, people want to know who are the ones that that are reputable here, you know, and so you know, I just by knowing a lot of the businesses here. Uh, can give you more of a feedback um, who may fit your family your role you know um, there's also you know other subjects I get questions like um, you know where should I go for dinner for uh, entertainment uh, where can I go dance uh, on a Monday where where can I go have fun on a Tuesday is there anything open let me tell you in the past year Tamarindo has changed from a let's say uh, a club level wanted to feature uh, DJs and and big bands from all over the world and bring them here because there was money that people were investing in these structures but the money was invested but they, there wasn't any money coming back into Tamarindo as much to call these big names so now the level didn't drop but what had happened now the entertainment now has changed to maybe some of these places has minimized the space and now they want to rent their space to like maybe salsa merengue people that are on their own the entertainment that they are knowledgeable uh, in how to entertain a crowd and a lot of these people come from Argentina, uh, Colombia, Venezuela, there's a lot of singers, uh, even from here, there's all kinds of uh, really good artists here that uh, uh, they are looking for gigs, for looking for uh, for jobs to entertain the public, you know, but um, also there isn't a lot of, there is a lot of public, but there's more more businesses that are looking for entertainment, more businesses that are looking for to bring people in, but the people that come here don't know really where to go. You know, uh, they're not. I mean, it's not very well structured, structure, which is where Chispa comes in in the mix. And uh, now we've been structuring to the point that now our introduction, which just started today, um, and we keep making this, expanding this. Um, and make it broader um, through social media, through YouTube, right? Um, and then you can view what it's like, like here, you know. Right now it's a little bit cloudy, foggy, right? I'm having my little coffee. You know, uh, Chispa is uh, right here somewhere, right behind me, relaxing. And I do all the talking, chit-chatting, you know. 4.05 right now, and uh, we got thunder in the background. It, the beautiful thing about this part is that as soon as we get more equipped and prepare, even today you can probably hear thunder and lightning uh, in the background. So eventually we're gonna have to speak a little bit louder, you know. Uh, but I think this is really good for everybody, for you, for the business, for the coastline, for also, also a lot of the businesses around here, you know. Uh, we have a lot of family that right away link with Chispa because she's friendly. We can show you how right away she basically uh, connects with family. When I turn the camera on and the camera is uh, uh, on Chispa, I'll tell you right now, she automatically knows that she's on camera. She's that smart. Chispa, you know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this is going to go a long way. You know, hopefully we'll be here next year as well. And, uh, we'll show you more. Uh, we'll have more interviews, uh, more entertainment. Uh, remember, I'm in a spot here where it's called La Palapa Restaurant, La Palapa Hotel. And every day, as long as there's no rain, uh, you will have a fire show uh, from 6.30 to 7. Uh, phenomenal, fun. A lot of people come over. Uh, it's, it's being heard more. It's being talked about on social media. People are finding out more about it. Uh, we've been building this market very strong, especially La Palapa and this whole region uh, in the 
in the rotunda in Guanacaste with a lot of businesses and and so all all of our businesses if I influence one business the other businesses actually get influenced too you know uh, just because we bring attention and we're gonna keep bringing more uh, more focus attention to the area um, so we can facilitate uh, and help businesses grow enhance is what we call it we want to enhance the businesses uh, through Chispa Chispa Tamarindo um, that's it let me look show you around the weather slowly So I don't have anything on script. I don't have anything to write about. I thought about, it. I usually write ideas and draft them out, you know, but I'm really good about what's in my mind and talk about, you know, so um, I'm going by that, you know. I, I also took a couple minutes off to get away and think about, also, you know, there's a lot, sometimes a lot of loud noises here. And so people are very energetic when they come here because they see amazing scenery and you know right away they want to have a cocktail and sit in the sun or you just feel feel it out and so sometimes it, i'm sure it's gonna be complicated where i have to like uh, you know uh, lay off from the camera uh, and find a, a, a quiet spot but it's gonna be very good because it's gonna be full about entertainment education edutainment uh, and um you know uh, maybe talk to people here you know maybe, who knows grab an interview grab somebody that uh, wants to talk about Tamarindo in two minutes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, how, how much of value is that of you as a business? How much of value is that of, of you as a viewer? You know, who you want to link to in the future, right? It's, it's powerful, you know? That's why we use tech to us, the positive way we can do it, right? Um, Let's see, um, don't have anything to talk about drafting, but I have plenty uh, of uh, other things that come to mind here. So let's talk about demographics here in Tamarindo, in Guanacaste, this region. Right now it's raining, it's raining light. I can hear it, it's hitting the tent right above. <laughs> and uh, demographics here in Tamarindo, um, you know, you can hear thunder in the background. Um, so we have, obviously, majority are Americans, are uh, Canadians, There's some Israelis. I'm sure a lot. Um, a lot of descendants from all over, from all over Europe, Asia as well, Africa as well. Um, population. Tamarindo, it could be roughly full-time, full-time people. I don't think it's gonna be 10,000. I don't think it's gonna be 15,000. It's rough to say. Uh, but when, you know, it's, it's scaled or it's, it's somewhere in their 15, 20,000, you know. Um, there's a lot of people that live abroad, part-time. They live in Canada, they live in the States. They live in Europe, they have property here, you know, they, live, they come here six months, they go over there another six, three months. Um, so they're, they're, there's, there's that, right? That's, that's more of the north part. Then because of problems in the past in South America, you know, there's also a lot of Argentinians, Venezuelans, Colombians, Panamanians, uh, name it. All of South America is here as well, you know. And a lot of these people are hardworking individuals. Uh, you know, I, I, I can say I get along really well with Argentinians. They're very, very strong with me, you know, as you can tell. You know what I mean? Um, so, and, um, you know, um, there's a lot of people that live here. I've been living here for 15, 20 years. They're Americans and they are Canadians. A lot of Italians, a lot of German, a lot of, a lot of European descendants, they do speak Spanish. They make an effort, but a lot of Americans, they don't bother, you know, to say hola, you know, even read, right? So, um, so that's maybe sometime a little bit of a, ugh, you know, um, there is a lot of real estate offices here. Remember, 
Uh, it's a hot market, so people are buying real estate everywhere in the past 15, 20 years, 25 years. So uh, uh, this is a very, very nutritious uh, real estate zone for uh, a lot of these people, you know, realtors. And a lot of these are not even realtors, they're not even agents, they're just uh, somebody's puppet, you know. Uh, even the brokers are puppets, you know, of the system. Um, and, um, you know, I, I usually warn the public, you know, um, I would rent rather than buy. Right now, it's not the time to buy for the future, you know. Uh, it also depends what you're doing here, too, you know. Um, but um, that's the, there is a lot of rent, a lot of offices. Uh, everybody comes here with an idea of. Oh my God! I can do so much money, I am, you know, with uh, with with buying or investing in a business here in real estate. Yeah, true. But what are you gonna do with it? You know, uh, you're just gonna inflate the market more. You're gonna get rid of a lot of green land. You know, there's a lot of that already. You know, and, um, you know, uh, we're gonna see what's gonna happen next year. There's a lot of there's a lot of situations in the economic system. Uh, they're probably gonna slow down a bit of the a lot of the sectors and you know uh, But again Tamarindo, I think it's gonna be still active Which is very 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 cautious when it comes to investing here um, There's also a lot of other uh, Subjects to talk about when it comes to like the government now the government is asking how come we have so many people from all over the world owning real estate investments uh, here in the coastlines um, you know, um, and so there's a lot of uh, a lot of questions about that, right? So, um, you know, eventually we're gonna give you some more knowledge. You're also gonna find out yourself. You know, you have to educate yourself, right? Uh, but definitely, Tamarindo, I always advertise market as it is a friendly family place. Um, you know, we have a lot of kids here that have, are blue eyes, green eyes, and they speak like, "Hey, papi, todo bien, my so I saw it, you know." And they're from here, you know, they just learn, but they may be Swiss, they may be German mixed in with someone someone from here. Now there is a lot of women, they talk, oh, I don't want to deal with a guanaco. Guanaco is a guanacasteco, right? Somebody from Guanacaste. You know, a lot of Americans, you know, women that, they, they, that I know of, they're like, oh, I don't want to deal with a guanaco. I don't want to own guanacaste. You know what? You eat out of this land, okay? You had a kid from this man, okay? Just because it didn't fit your role, you don't have to downsize what happened in your situation. Uh, I hear a lot of that, you know, so you have a lot of pockets of Americans now, uh, you know, connecting with each other. So you really don't have a lot of connections with Costa Ricenses just because there's a rumor there about Ticos, you know, uh, not being very smart, you know. In a lot of other, a lot of, a lot of um, <coughs> subjects in life, you know, um, and that could be true in some cases, just because uh, the government has abandoned the 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 education system, you know. Uh, it's a lot of crime, right? Or in San Jose, in Heredia, in La Huela, it's a lot of crime in the financial district as well, in the financial system as well, in the government as well. So, uh, but it's no worse than California. I fucking come, I come from California, San Francisco, California. It is complicated, it's very complicated. It's, uh, it's more, it's way difficult. Now if you put the states together, you know, Guanacaste has the, uh, uh, Guanacaste has a best, the best lifestyle fit for a human being if you know how to, uh, how to drive and manage your life. 4.30 and rain now has increased. Still raining very, uh, very light. <laughs> That's what I'll do. What I'll do is I'll, I'll see if I can train myself so I can start with a background view, scenery, and then as an introduction and then chit chat away with you guys. Oh gosh, yeah, I got a broken glass. That's it, um, let's see what we gotta talk about. Um, 
Today's Thursday, so Thursday night market. Depending well if it rains, they may not be a night market. If it's light, something like this, they'll they'll go for it. But if it's like a full on storm, heavy, they'll cancel. And they're pretty good about announcing it in social media. Um, so um, let's see. So Tamarindo, we we're talking about demographics. Tamarindo now, let's talk about the weather here. Um, we talked a bit about real estate and the businesses here. Uh, so the weather here in Tamarindo, uh, from December to let's say April, May, is no rain. Uh, uh, it's full on 90, 95 degrees at 9, 10 in the morning. Beautiful, but it's very hot. You gotta walk uh, like a cat in the shadows. Um, Definitely a lot of people have AC. A lot of Canadians, Americans, they're not used to this weather. So, you know, they, they depend on AC, right? Uh, I get it, I understand. Uh, uh, I love the weather, I'm part of this weather. I really don't need AC much. Um, but, you know, we eat differently, you know? So people that eat here uh, can sustain more than the average American or the average Canadian, you know, unless they already have been having and cohabitating and had nutrition from here from already years ago and they're used to it right and there is people like that i know some americans so canadians that they don't need ac but they've been living here for 20 30 years 30 years um <clears throat> so uh we're talking about um demographics the businesses structures the real estate offices uh, the weather pattern here, right? So um, here we go. I lost my train of thought, but that's gonna happen constant. <laughs> Thunder, hopefully you can hear that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so very hot. That's the high peak season. So that means that you're going to, your your ticket's gonna be a little bit pricey, right? This, uh, it's the summertime here. It's considered summertime, and then somewhere in between May through right about now, it rains. It, you know, but it's always tropical. It's always hot. It's always warm. It's always minimum 80 degrees, 85 degrees minimum um, until September, October. Once that's when the rain picks up, uh, season picks up. Um, and so, yeah, we, we will be having more rain, more thunder, longer, even floods as well. Um, and that'll be October, November, as it picks up November, at its fullest, fullest peak um, with rain. And um, also, we will have uh, a couple of weeks of uh, wind tunnels, just a wind that comes in very strong. Uh, yeah, not tornado strong, but just enough to like, you know, make a difference and make you feel like cold, you know. And again, I'm from San, I was raised in San Francisco, California, where usually it was 60 degrees. Uh, but now I'm very, very um, 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 pampered with the 85, 90 degree weather every day. It's the best. Um, let's see. Um, so that's, that's the pattern here and the weather. Uh, a lot of people love it because you see sun and you see the rain as well uh, so it's raining and the sun people are kissing in the middle of the beach and la playa uh, and there's again lots of family lots of Kids have not even experienced a tropical uh, ambience, and or even surfing, and so they fall in love with surfing. And, and 10, 15 years later, they come back again. You know, so a lot of these people are like turtles. That's what I call it, because uh, they come here when they're young, and they have this thought of, "Wow, where was I? That was incredible. We went party, we went drinking, we we spent time." without drinking, we spend time spiritually, and then they leave and they come back. It's 
some of these are young kids, young adults. Some of these a lot of, are older, older men, you know, older women. There is a lot of sugar daddies. There is a lot of sugar mommies here, you know. A lot of people have multiple properties. A lot of people are here divorced, separated, multiple lovers. They do whatever they want. This is paradise. You know, there's no common law. Not people are not gonna neglect you because you're gay or bisexual or whatever. Yeah, there is a little bit of manhood, yeah. I like to keep this more of a woman, you know, family-oriented place. Again, I come from San Francisco. That was the gay capital. Uh, so, and there's a gay, gay club here, small one. It plays fun music. Uh, um, but you don't really see a lot of that, you know. Uh, uh, I'm not discriminating. Again, I have a lot of gay, gay friends. Um, so, uh, there's a lot of freedom, you know. There's definitely a lot of freedom, you know. Um, a lot of people surf these waters do a lot of um, uh, kayaking they go to Cap Isla Capitan which is Capitan Island just right across I've been there a lot of shells uh, beautiful shells you know um, the more you kind of walk away from Tamarindo you go to Playa Grande which is behind me Playa Grande definitely you gotta get bigger waves you gotta have more nature original shells you know just because Tamarindo in the past 25, 30 years, there's been a lot of population, a lot of tourism coming in here. Now people live in here. Construction, right? This is kind of like the Mecca of the tourist sector in Costa Rica. This is the machine sector uh, to bring tourists here. Um, and a lot of businesses have actually done pretty well, you know, especially with the regulations, the flaw regulations that they have here uh, in uh, Costa Rica, right? Uh, there's also a lot of marketing, advertising from other people that, other firms, they call they call legal lawyers where they, uh, now they're advertising, if you get married with a Costa Ricense, uh, or if you um, earn a thousand dollars a month uh, in your handicap, you can apply for a residency. I thought that was a joke, you know, that's not very smart, but that's the kind of business that they have here because they're they're also it is very expensive people uh costa rica doesn't have a strong background on their labor force they don't have a grip of of uh um uh, of the structure so it makes it difficult uh i'll give you an example i know that when i was in san francisco working i could have taken a pta a part-time uh a paid time off you know if i wanted to I came across a friend today where he walked from um, home in the morning, uh, almost, almost at work, and he was five minutes late. Called in, he said, "I'm just there, just five minutes." And the guy manager told him, "I don't need you no more. Just go back home." He could. There's no PTA. This is because cutthroat. This is like you make it, you're not on time. If he likes you or the manager doesn't like you, you know, you're out, you may be out the door. Uh, so it makes it difficult because there isn't a strong structure in the labor force. So most of the businesses here, um, the employees, very hard for them to have a two-year job here. They usually rotate, you know. And the businesses' owners are not very diligent. They're not very smart, a lot of them. Uh, again, they, they don't have a lot of compassion. They're missing a lot of ethics. Um, and they take advantage of the situation. It's just the way it is now. But eventually this will change. Uh, um, you know, hopefully the system will get a little bit cleaner, you know. Uh, there'll be better structure. Um, and we can have uh, better equipped uh, Costa Rican economy. They can actually uh, control this region, right? And that's where Chispa comes in. 523 and uh, rain still keeping up the same the, the same pace still light rain you can hear it there's a little bit of background music now it's, um, a lot of the businesses now around 435 they start pumping up their ambience their entertainment you know a lot of the uh, entertainments have appointments here uh, they have not regular people but uh, different people every day and not just here, but right next to me you have Walters and so 
You probably hear jazz. That could be somebody else who plays jazz. Lightning in the background, so you'll hear thunder here soon, hopefully. So this will be my next maybe five to ten minutes of closing. Happy Mother's Day. I was a mother myself, a full-time father, so I know what it's like to raise a kid. Um, so yeah, it, it may not be as packed today. It may not be, maybe as soon as it stops raining, a lot of people will come out. By that time, maybe we'll have, uh, hopefully the Thursday night market. Not sure if I'm going, we'll see, we'll find out. Um, and here, everything's pretty, it's walkable, walk, walkable distance. So the, the Thursday night market goes from 7.30 to 10.30. And that, uh, again, you have a lot of arts and crafts, lots of food, lots of music, lots of new people, uh, lots of people that live here. Um, and so it's a great, fun ambience. Uh, it's a, it breaks the ice, very easy to talk to, to people from all over the world and connect with them. Um, but as it goes, the way it's raining, mm, it's questionable, still early. Sometimes it just stops, you know, uh, and then people start coming out. Um, there's still people at the beach, you know, there's still people here hanging out. Not as many. Um, so, we will keep uh, hopefully feeding the YouTube channel with some of these uh, videos, interviews, and just there's plenty of subjects to pick and choose and talk about. And I'm sure that I'm going, I'm going to get requests from a lot of my followers, our followers, under Chispa Chispa Tamarindo Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Uh, requesting to maybe talk about different subjects, right? And that's what we want. We want some feedback as well. So we're gonna explain we're having obviously a lot of mariachis that come here, entertain the tables, right? Since this is the closing, uh, I want to give you a few minutes of hopefully people having a good time. Again, it's still very early. Alright guys, I think this is good enough. Uh, thank you for your attention. Hopefully we're going to be making more of these videos here soon. We have a lot of entertainment. This is very, very slow, which is I needed that because around this time I won't be able to talk. I have to elevate my voice and you know, this is perfect because you're going to see more and more um, uh, a busier traffic here, you know, uh, just in this region. And you're definitely going to want to come and uh, sit down here and uh, enjoy this beautiful life. 